If you are trying to perform a skill shot or what we call it the flare shot, to be honest with you there is so many types of flare shots you can perform in EAFC 24, but the real question is how can you perform a skill shot or a flare shot in EAFC 24, can you perform it with any player? Well I'm here to answer all these questions, because on this video ladies and gentlemen I'm going to show you how to perform every single flare shot, pass and cross in EAFC 24. Now some of the flare shots that I'm gonna be showing you on this video require the flare play style, some of them require the acrobatic play style, so I just want you to hear me carefully so you can perform every single flare shot that I'm gonna be showing you on this video. With that being said ladies and gentlemen before we jump into the video if you're new around here don't forget to subscribe. Drop a like on this video that will be always appreciated and if you are looking to buy FC24 coins check out u 7 buy for the cheapest prices out there, fast delivery, safe and use the code Y5K to get yourself up to 6% off, link in the description. And now let's jump straight into the video and start things up with the flare pass, for a normal flare pass it doesn't require any skill moves at all, you can even perform it with your goalkeeper who only got one star skill move. And also it doesn't require the flare play style, so basically you can perform it with any player. To perform it in game it's really easy, all you have to do hold the L2 on Playstation or the LT on Xbox and then pass the ball, with that you're gonna see your player perform the flare pass. But don't you put too much power on the pass, from 1 to 2 bars of power would be perfect for a flare pass. If you put more than 3 bars of power your player won't go for a flare pass, probably he will go for an outside foot pass. And as you can see from the gameplay that I'm showing you, your player will perform a different flare pass every time, so how can you perform a specific flare pass? Well, let me introduce you to one of my favorite ways to perform a flare pass in EAFC 24 by the name of the Rainbow Pass. Now it does require a player that has got 3 star skill mode, so you have to be using a player that has got at least 3 star skills, but it doesn't require the flare play style, so basically you just need a player that has got at least 3 star skill moves. And to perform it in game, first thing first you have to perform the rainbow flick skill move. And to perform the rainbow flick skill move, all you have to do if you are on playstation or xbox, flick your right stick backward the opposite direction that your player is moving to and then flick it again forward. And then while your player is performing the rainbow flick skill move, you have to be quick and you have to time it perfectly, hold L2 or LT and then pass. Now I'm not gonna lie to you, it's not easy to perform in game and that's mainly because you have to time it perfectly, while your player is performing the rainbow flick skill move, you have to hold the L2 or the LT on Xbox and then pass, and of course like I said using from 1 to 2 bars of power maximum, with that you're gonna see your player performing the rainbow pass. And that's all for the flare pass, I know most of you are here for the flare shots and the skill shots, so let's move on on how to perform every single flare shot in EAFC 24. And before we jump into the flare shots, there are some rules that you should follow so your player will 100% perform a flare shot. First thing first, you should be using a player that has got the flare play style. Second thing, your player should be inside the box. And third thing, don't put too much power on the shot, just from 1 to 2 bars of power, because if you put too much power on the shot, your player will go for an outside foot shot. And now let's move on into the skill shot, starting things up with a normal flare shot. Now it doesn't require skill moves, you can do it with a player who has got 2 or 3 star skill moves, but it would be better to use a player that has got at least 4 star skill moves, what I mean about that is if you are using a player that has got only 3 star skill moves he won't be able to perform all skill shots. So like I said use a player that has got at least 4 star skill moves and like I said you have to be using a player that has got the flare play style as you can see on your screen. And for the flare shot it's really easy in game, you are inside the box using a player that has got the flare play style, hold L2 or LT on Xbox and then shoot using from 1 to 2 bars of power. Now using this method you play might go for a no look shot, a back heel shot or maybe a roulette shot. And to be honest with you the normal flare shot is the easiest skill shot I have got for you on this video. As long as I'm gonna go on this video things are gonna get harder and more difficult to perform in game. So let's move on into the next skill shot. For the second skill shot I'm going with a rebona shot, everyone loves a rebona shot so how can you perform a rebona shot in EAFC 24? First thing first it doesn't require any skill moves but it would be better to use a player that has got at least 4 star skill moves and of course the flare play style. 
Now for controls in game, go inside the box with a player that has got the flare play style and then perform a fake shot. Make your player fully stopped and then before you shoot, you should know where to aim. What I mean about that, you should aim so your player can perform it with his strong foot. Let's take this clip as an example. If you are using a right footed player, you should aim slightly down which is the right of the goal. Or if you are using a left footed player, you should aim slightly up which is the left of the goal. And after that, before you shoot, of course, you should be holding the L2 button on PlayStation or the LT button on Xbox and then shoot using from 1 to 2 bars of power. So to make it easy for you, go inside the box using a player that has got the flare play style, perform a fake shot and make your player fully stop and then hold L2 or LT and shoot using from 1 to 2 bars of 4 so your player can perform the reborn shot. Now moving on into the acrobatic shot, one of my favorites if I'm being honest and if you haven't guessed it already, you have to be using a player that has got the acrobatic play style. Now this time you don't have to be using a player that has got the flare play style, no you just have to be using a player that has got the acrobatic play style. Now there's three types of acrobatic shots you can perform in EAFC 24 which is the bicycle kick, the scorpion kick and the Haaland special. Now let me explain every one of them real quick starting things up with the bicycle kick. It doesn't require any skill moves at all but you have to be using a player that has got the acrobatic play style. To perform it in game, cross the ball and before you play a shoot, you have to be holding the L2 button on PlayStation or the LT button on Xbox and then shoot. And when it comes to crossing the ball for a bicycle kick, hold the L1 button on PlayStation or the LB button on Xbox. With that, your player is gonna cross the ball high in the air, so your second player with the acrobatic playstyle will have the time for the perfect bicycle kick. Moving on into the second acrobatic shot, which is going to be the scorpion kick. Absolutely fantastic if you get it in game, if I'm being honest. And it doesn't require any skill moves as long as you are using a player that has got the acrobatic play style. For controls in game, cross the ball. And for the scorpion kick, I recommend a normal cross. Don't hold anything, just a normal cross. And then before you shoot, first thing you have to be holding the L2 button. And second thing you have to be moving with your player forward. Don't stop, keep aiming forward with the left stick and then shoot, with that you're gonna see your player performing the scorpion kick. And for the last shot, we have got the Erling Haaland special. If I'm being honest, I don't know the name of it, so that's why I call it the Erling Haaland special. But don't worry, you can perform it with any player that has got the acrobatic playstyle, not only Erling Haaland. Now for controls in game, you have to be holding L2 before you shoot, but this time... Your player have to arrive late for the shot. What I mean about that, he should be running forward, not standing because if he's standing, he will perform a bicycle kick and I recommend using the outside foot shot cross, which is by holding the L2 on PlayStation or the LT on Xbox and then cross using from three to four bars of four. That's all for the acrobatic shots. Let's get back into the flare shots with the back heel chip shot. One of my favorites ever, if I'm being honest. Such a cool finish if you get it right. And it doesn't require any skill moves. You just have to be using a player that has got the flare play style. To perform it in game, this time your player should not be facing the goal. No, his back should be facing the goal. So for example, perform a drag back, make your player back face the goal. And then what you have to do, you have to hold the L2 and the L1 at the same time. And then shoot using from 1 to 2 bars of power. With that you're gonna see your player performing the back heel chip shot which is an absolutely great fancy finish if you get it right. Moving on into one of the hardest skill shots to perform ever in EAFC 24 by the name of the rainbow shot or the rainbow chip shot. Now yep, you can perform it as a chip shot or as a normal shot if you want to. And this time you have to be using a player that has got at least 3 star skill moves. Now when it comes to controls in game, what you have to do first thing first, you have to perform the rainbow flick skill move, which is by flicking your right stick backward and then flick it again forward. And at this time, while your player is performing the rainbow flick skill move, you have to be quick and you have to time it perfectly and that's why it's hard to be honest. 
you have to hold the L2 button or the LT button and then shoot and like I said you can use it as a chip shot by holding the L2 and the L1 button on PlayStation or the LT and the LB button on Xbox. So while you players performing the Rainbow Flick skill move you have to be quick and you have to hold the L2 and then shoot using from 1 to 2 bars of power and you're gonna see you player performing the Rainbow Flick finish. For the last skill shot, I have got for you the 360 shot. Yup, it's I think an EAFC 24 and to be honest, it's such a cool finish. This time you have to be using a player that has got at least 2 star skill moves, not only that, also with the flare play style. To perform it in game, first thing first you have to perform the drag back skill move, which is by holding the R1 and the L1 on PlayStation and then moving your player backward. Or if you are on Xbox, hold the RB and the LB and move your player backward. And then while your player is performing the drag back skill move, you have to be quick and you have to hold the L2 and the L1 at the same time and then shoot using from 1 to 2 parts of 4. Yup, it sounds hard but to be honest with you when you get it in game, you're gonna see how easy it is and if I'm being honest it's such a cool fancy finish in EAFC 24. That's all for the skill shots and the flare shots in EAFC 24, last but not least, we have got the flare cross. Now to be honest with you, most of the flare crosses doesn't require a player that has got the flare play style, but it would be better to use a player that has got the flare play style. To perform a flare cross in EAFC 24, if you have watched the video, you know already, all you have to do, hold the L2 or the LT button, and then cross the ball using from 1 to 2 bars of power. With that you're gonna see you player performing a flare cross and to be honest there's some cool flare crosses you can perform in EAFC 24. Not only that also you can perform it while holding the L2 and the L1 on PlayStation or the LT and the LB on Xbox which can be really cool as well to perform in game. With that being said ladies and gentlemen trust me when I say I have tried my best to explain everything you need to know it's hard I'm not gonna lie to you some of the skill shots are almost impossible to perform in game and I have tried my best to explain everything for you still if you have any question please let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to help you all that was all the flare crosses flare shots and the flare passes in EAFC 24 I hope you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe and like and I will see you all in the next video, peace.